Hi there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com um, Today I want to actually talk to you about being in alignment and knowing where uh, your goals are. So, the reason I want to talk to you about this first of all is um, if you don't have a goal in life, if you don't know what it is that you want or where it is that you're going, your roadmap is going to be pretty unclear. And if you ever listen to um, any of the speakers, you know, any of the motivational speakers like Tony Robbins or um, Les Brown, Deepak Chopra, um, Lisa Hay, that kind of stuff, they'll all tell you that you need to know at least where you're going and then work out a roadmap backwards from there. It's kind of like um, having a sat nav. You need to know where it is you're going and then it can you know, plan the route for you. So, I was listening to uh, Jim Rohn a while ago and I always remember in one of his speeches he says that some people don't do well because they spend major time on minor things and um, because you can see me and I can't see you I just want you to raise your hand or uh, if you're in public, just blink your eyes at the screen right now if you know what I'm talking about. Because one thing for sure from my end, I certainly do. I cannot tell you how um, guilty I am of, of doing this. And, and often I don't mean to do it in a bad way. It's usually because I'm like, oh, you know, we have a, a big family, uh, me and my, my siblings. Um, you know, big extended family, lots of uncles and cousins and their children and that sort of thing and it's always somebody's birthday or something coming up or some event at work or you know, so we're always trying to plan and be one step ahead of the game and we uh, we we always take our eyes off the ball long enough to kind of let it roll away um, so often I've come back from doing things and gone oh, I forgot what it was I was coming back to and um, I have never ever I don't think ever been serious enough about plan to see it through and um, you know if, if you do listen to Les Brown who I think is um, you know he's one of the first motivational speakers I think maybe the first that I found and, and I love his speeches um, and I know it comes from a place of integrity because of his story. Um, but he always says, um, you know, about making this your decade. If you want to make this your decade, you've really got to think about, you know, where you are and talks about knowing your strengths and your weaknesses and knowing what a full rich life would mean to you. And I've always thought that uh, a full rich life would just mean me as I am now, you know, kind of chilling out and maybe not doing a lot and maybe not um, having a lot of contacts. I'm pretty happy with that kind of side of my life. Um, and a lot of it is about learning to dream again because um, I think so often as, as we grow up in life we have to get a grip on this thing called reality and um, reality squeezes the life blood out of so many things um, it's just unbelievable you know we're told by people who've stopped dreaming that we've got to stop dreaming or at least that's that's what's implied um, and we've got to settle down and we've got to you know settle on a vocation or a career or and it's got to be right first time and you know there isn't any time to experiment because girls are serious and what are we going to achieve in our lives and what we have to show for it and um, it's all measured on grades and success and you know certificates and you know it's not measured in terms of personal breakthroughs or um, you know personal kind of achievement um, and, and self-fulfillment and I really think it should be um, so you've really got to know where you're going and this this is the core of everything um, I think it's it's something that actually at the moment I am majorly struggling on and to be honest with you thank goodness I am realising I'm struggling on it because I uh, today I've had to take some major time out and really come back to myself and go 
what is it that you want to leave behind? What is it the world needs from you? Uh, what type of person do you need to grow into? What is it that you want people to feel when they hear about you or when they associate your name with things? Um, what is it that you can help them with? What can you give them time on? What is it that you maybe need to share about yourself a bit more? Because I realised that actually um, that is a major thing about myself. I, I, I don't share about myself. I keep things quite quiet until they go right and then I'll share them with, with everybody or if they don't go right I'll just uh, I'd maybe just not mention it. Um, because I'm not always proud of the way things fall uh, at the wayside and, and I don't know what the next step is to do. Um, and we have to be very, very uh, kind of blunt in asking for help. A lot of people, you know, we, we think we're going to pick up on our signs and, and they don't. Um, so this is a major, major thing and you know what? It, I think it takes a long, long time to find and I think um, it takes a lot of sitting down and, and, and thinking um, writing down when you have a breakthrough it takes a lot of being lost, a lot of um, feeling vulnerable, a lot of tears a lot of frustration um, a lot of breaking through personal barriers that have become you um, I know I certainly have a lot of them um, and just, just learning to dream again and not tell ourselves like I tell myself that oh yeah but you know that's not a real thing because it could be if you want it badly enough Um, I mean let's face it I mean somebody out there once wanted to be a clown and became a, a clown and that's what they do as a livelihood so uh, if that's a silly dream but it came true then whatever your dream is I'm sure it can come true too but we've got to really focus on this and and the other thing is this is going to be really really difficult to do but you've got to um, get rid of what I call optional extras so um, spreading yourself too thin um, I have found has always made me unhappy really unhappy and um, even if the things I'm doing are things I love um, I just don't dedicate myself enough to each task and that makes me stressed and I'm always uh, chasing up on myself and um, I've cut down a lot of things but I need to cut down even more I carried some things through from next, last year because I thought well that was a good idea or I enjoyed that or whatever and I need to keep that with me for this year and I think I need to um, get rid of those um, I think I might still be clinging on to some people in my past because I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, but as Brendan Bouchard, if you've, if you've ever read his book, The Motivation Manifesto, and um, I'm sure he's got more than one book, but um, that's one I'm reading. And I read something where he said that people won't go just because you want them to. They'll stay as long as they can, and you've got to you've got to do the work to take them into or out of your life and um, it's not easy um, but you know I always thought people would go from my mind and um, they don't I've got to real, make a real effort to consciously, and I mean consciously, write it down um, sort through the people that are helping me and the people that are not, I think that's what it boils down to. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are some people out there who, you know, I I, I literally adore. Um, but they're not as good for me as I would like them to be. And I think this is the point where I either need to say, hey, I need just a bit more from you, um, which is going to be difficult because I'm not that kind of person. Or I need to say, Listen, I, I really need to concentrate on myself and um, I'm not going to be in contact uh, 
Um, so this is personal growth. This is the pain of growth, growing pains. I'm sure you've heard of them. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you today because if you're like me and you've ever felt a bit out of alignment with yourself, not really sure about what it is you should be doing and life's okay but you just know somewhere there's something a bit more, um, I really would encourage you to to be patient um, but really make a start on, on trying to find that and there's going to be a lot of discoveries where you try something and you know what, it's just not right for you. Um, I, when I first moved to Wales, uh, Wales in the UK, um, from England, I didn't know anyone or anything and I started on a range of clubs, a range of activities and um, I'm not going to lie, most of them after a month, maybe, maybe two months, uh, fell flat on their faces. Um, either I just didn't connect with people or it just wasn't the right thing for me, I, I don't know what it was but um, and that, that again really set me back but it's that's okay, take your time, you are a human, um, it takes time to, to recover and uh, regroup and regain from these things um, but definitely it's, it's once you find out who you are, once you can answer that question um, I think things are really going to fall into place. I, I really believe that. Um, I was watching something on YouTube uh, the other day from Oprah Winfrey and she said that that is the number one question you have to answer. Who am I? And she said once you know that really you you, you know you're away. Um, so really really take the time to, to discover that. Um, if you need any help on that, obviously there's lots of videos on YouTube, um, there's um, weekly blogs on pipweekly.com about these sorts of issues and, and about finding yourself and about living the best life for you, uh, where you do feel competent and in control and, and you're just living a good life um, and it's suited to how you want to be. Um, and I'll try and you know keep them up to date um, on my Facebook page as well to let you guys know uh, when they're being posted again. It's just pitweekly.com. Um, so do have a look. And uh, until next time, you take care. Bye bye now.